सो गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चों मैंने अपने पिछले लेक्चर में हमने क्या शुरू किया था ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो एंड वी हैव डिस्कस सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप आई होप दैट यू स्टडी एंड प्रिपेयर सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप वॉट इज द मैग्नीफाइंग पावर ऑफ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप यू हैव लर्न d अपॉन यू ई एंड वन प्लस डी अपॉन एफ ई दीज आर द टू फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नीफिकेशन और एंगुलर मैग्नीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप बिकॉज द मैग्नीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप मैग्नीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप इज लिमिटेड दैट्स वाई टू इंक्रीज मैग्नी मैग्नीफिकेशन वी रिक्वायर कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप सो लुक एट हियर इन कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप this lens in front of this lens we put the place the object iske samne hum object ko rakhte hain ise objective lens kehte hain the another lens is called eye piece this lens is called eye piece here you see that the object is placed just before its focus just before the focus of objective lens <coughs> ab you know the law of image formation so from <clears throat> this from objective lens the image of ab formed a dash b dash now we move i piece forward and backward forward and <clears throat> backward such that this image a dash b dash is formed between its optical center e and its focus of i piece ये इमेज ए डस बी डस इसके ऑप्टिकल सेंटर और फोकस के बीच में बनेगी ठीक है जिससे फाइनल इमेज विल बी फॉर्म हियर ए डबल डस बी डबल डस क्लियर हियर यू सी दैट दिस एंगल वी हैव एज्यूम्ड बीटा ओके एंड हियर व्हाई वी मेड दिस डायग्राम बिकॉज वी नो दैट द मैग्नीफाइंग पावर और एंगुलर मैग्नीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप इज द रेशियो ऑफ Angle subtained by the final image, then that of angle subtends by the object placed at least distance of distinct vision. So this object is placed at least distinct of distinct vision. For this, the angle is formed alpha. Now we find magnification, magnifying power of compound microscope. So here you observe, okay. ए बी हाइट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वी एज्यूम एच हाइट ऑफ सेकेंड इमेज फर्स्ट इमेज ए डैस बी डैस वी आर एज्यूमिंग एच डैस एंड ए डबल डैस बी डैस फाइनल इमेज इट्स हाइट इज एच डबल डैस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट हाउ वी फाइंड मैग्नीफाइंग पावर और एंगुलर मैग्नीफिकेशन लुक एट हियर दिस इज द रेशियो ऑफ एंगल सप्टेन बाय द फाइनल इमेज देन दैट ऑफ एंगल सप्टेन बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट प्लेस डेट लीज डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टिंग विजन बीटा एंड एल्फा बिकॉज दीज टू एंगल्स आर वेरी स्मॉल दैट्स वाई वी कैन राइट इन प्लेस ऑफ बीटा टेन बीटा एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ एल्फा वी कैन राइट टेन एल्फा नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन बीटा वी फाइंड फ्रॉम दिस ट्राइंगल ए डैस बी डैस ई ओके सो इन दिस ट्राइंगल ए डैस बी डैस ई आई फॉरवर्ड टू राइट यू विल राइट पर पेंडिकुलर अपॉन base so perpendicular is a dash b dash which is equal h dash so i have written h dash upon this is the distance this distance is distance of object from i piece kyunki ye i piece ke liye object ka kaam kar raha hai to ye distance i piece se kya hogi ue so h dash upon ue tan alpha tan alpha perpendicular upon base h upon d so because it is in denominator so it will be into h upon d okay so d will reach in numerator so we get m is equal h dash upon ue into d upon h now you see <coughs> we can write it h dash upon h and this can be written d upon ue so when we write h dash upon h into d upon ue then h dash upon h this is the magnification of objective lens and me this is d upon ue this is the magnification of i piece so we can write m is equal mo into me okay 
Hence, we get m equal h dash upon h into d upon u e. Now, you know that <coughs> magnification of objective lens. This will be equal height of object upon height of image. So, h upon h dash equal distance of image upon distance of object means v o upon u o. This is m o equal. Yes, as well as you know that m e magnification of i p is d upon u e. That's why in this formula, in place of h upon h dash, okay, we write v, v o upon u o, v o upon u o. And in place of d upon u e, this is d upon u e. Clear? Magnification of i p is when final image formed at least distance of distinct vision, then 1 plus d upon f e. Don't forget, we can use an optical instrument in <clears throat> two adjustment. One, when final image formed at least distance of distinct vision. Ye image least distance of distinct vision par ban raha hai. And second, we study when final image formed at infinity. So, don't forget this. This expression for <coughs> the image which is forming at least distance of distinct vision. That's why look at here. <coughs> M is equal VO upon UO in place of of d upon u e we can write 1 plus d upon f e okay so this is our expression this actually this is the magnifying power of compound microscope m is equal v o upon u o into 1 plus d upon u e because it is a very <coughs> small instrument this <coughs> image is formed very close to the very close to the eyepiece okay as well as <coughs> Its focal length, uh, focal length of eyepiece is less, focal length of objective lens is less. <coughs> That's why. And this is this we place, object we place just before the focus. So FO ke pass hai. Isliye UO can be written FO. Look at here. UO can be written FO. It is approximate equal. Similarly, <coughs> VO can be written L. VO can be written L. Where L is what? L is the length of the tube. Actually, length of the tube, length between these two lenses. But it is very <coughs> close to it. That's why in place of VO, we can write L. Okay. So, in place of VO, we will write L. In place of U, this is minus F, two birds left. And 1 plus D upon F E. So, that's the final expression for magnifying power of compound microscope when final image formed at least distance of distinct vision. Pause. Stop. Now, <clears throat> now for second ad adjustment means when final image formed at infinity. Look at here. This is the object and image A dash B dash. If it is formed at focus of eyepiece, then final image will form at infinity. Hence, <clears throat> when final image formed at infinity means object is placed where Object is placed at focus of IP, so UE equal FE. Hence, M is equal VO upon UO into D upon UE as we <coughs> derived previously. So, in this, in place of UE, we will write FE. In place of VO, we write L and in place of UO, we write minus FO. Hence, M is equal minus L upon FO into D upon Fe. That's the expression for linear mag <coughs> magnifying power of compound microscope when final image is formed at infinity. Please practice the diagram and also the derivation. <coughs> In next topic, I will teach you astronomical telescope. Here it is also asked that how the magnifying power is increased. Okay, so you see that FO and FO, FE, when these two are very small, then magnifying power will be large. Okay, understood? In optic, wave optics, we study its resolving power. Okay, in next, I will teach you astronomical telescope. Till then, you study, make it practice. Just after this video, I will post you the next one for astronomical telescope. Thank you.